All right, guys, now we're starting on some bottom defense. So we're back in the referee's position. I'm starting from the bottom position, and we're gonna go over how to escape, how to keep pressure off of your back, and how to defend this guy from turning you on top. So we're here in referee's position. I'm on bottom, I like to keep a good, strong base. I like to keep my ankles hidden underneath of my butt. So I keep my butt back, sitting on my feet, and keeping my ankles hidden to prevent this guy from ankle picking me. And I like to keep my elbows nice and tight into my body. I don't wanna keep them wide. I don't want this guy to chop me left or right. So I gotta keep my elbows inside. And I'm keeping a good, strong base here. So when Tyler gets on top of me here, what I like to do, and the first basic move I learned from this position as a kid is to stand up. Now from here, we gotta make sure we have wrist control. I don't just wanna stand up here and be chopped back down to my feet. So I gotta get a good, strong stand up and I gotta get wrist control here. I'm controlling this guy's wrist. I don't wanna be chopped back down, so I'm keeping this elbow nice and tight, left hands on the wrist. Now from here, instead of stranded, standing up and running straight forward, I like to get pressure back and into this guy. I'm getting pressure back and in. Now notice how tight it is. I have hand control here, elbows tight. Now from here, I like to take this left hand, and I just wanna put it in my back pocket right here. Just putting this left hand in my back pocket. Now you can turn either way from here. You can cut right or you can cut left. Particularly, I like to cut left from this position. So I'm here controlling the hand, getting this elbow nice and tight, and I'm just cutting left here. So I'm back down in my position. Remember, wrist control, elbow nice and tight. Pressure back and in, hand goes off, and I'm just controlling this guy's wrist. I control this wrist. I don't wanna turn in here because this guy's just gonna keep control here. He's still got this hand around my waist, so I wanna turn to my left where I have this hand controlled. He's got nothing here. Back pressure's up and in, turning in, keeping his elbow tight, controlling his hip and hand right there. So one more time, we're down in this position. Remember, elbow's tight, hiding our ankles, stepping up. Right foot, controlling the hand, back pressure up and in. Squatted position, controlling his hand, elbows in, control, sliding inside. Nextly, we have another basic move. It's just a switch from here. So switch is, we're gonna turn opposite side. So if he's on my right side, I wanna go left from this position. So remember, keeping a good strong base, sitting on our ankles here, and I just wanna turn and sit out to my left. So I wanna sit to my butt from here. So right now I'm on my knees and I wanna get to my butt from this position. But it's all about keeping my hands inside, preventing this guy from getting a half Nelson or putting me in a crab ride. From here, I like to move my hands just a couple inches to my left. So move my hands just to my left and I'm sitting to my butt here right here, and I always keep this elbow inside. If I keep this arm planted, this guy's just gonna chop me back down to the mat. So I gotta keep this hand nice and tight inside. Now from here, guys, I like to post this left hand to the mat, and I just wanna bring my head to my left shoulder, and I'm just sitting up to one knee, and I'm just grinding my hips inside for escape here. Basically just knee sliding, posting my hand, using my left hand as a pivot, and running back inside. So we're good strong base here. Hands move to my left. Sit into my butt, elbows tight, getting his hips off of mine. Notice how he has to catch up to my hips from here. And as he tries to catch up to my hips, I'm stepping up to my knee, left hand posted, turning inside, keeping that right hand tight. One more time, this is what we call a switch. Put my hands left, here, sit, hips switch out, here, elbows tight, stepping up, turning inside. One more. It's a little bit more advanced. It's for when a guy tries to break me down to my right, what I like to do is I like to get my left leg, my outside leg, inside of this guy's leg. And I wanna elevate him from this position. So he goes to chop me to my right, I'm elevating him here. As I sit to my hip, I'm bringing my hip back down to the mat, and I'm getting my hip pressure back and in on this guy. So we're here, this guy goes to chop me, he chops, I'm using my left foot to elevate here, and as he falls to his hip, I'm sliding my hips back underneath of me and I'm driving straight back. Now from here, I can go legs. I can chase head and go headlock here and put him to his back. But really, we just want to escape from this position. We just don't want to be on bottom anymore. So remember, he goes a chop, left foot inside, elevates his body, hips sit back in, back pressure back and in, finishing for two. So there's the three basic setups and moves we have from bottom to escape and hopefully get more points from it.